Hi guys, Goldfire Gaming here. Today I'm going to do a character review on Elastigirl from the Incredible series. I always think of her as a female, Mr. Fantastic, and I only like the first Incredibles. In this video, I'm going to break down where to get her, her abilities, her max stats, and if I recommend getting her. Like, subscribe, and comment if you want more Sorcerer's Arena character breakdowns. Elastigirl is a tower exchange exclusive character that takes 10 tokens to unlock and each token costs 7,500 tower coins. She's a short range red offense character. The special thing about Elastigirl is that her passive incredible bond gives her resistance to types to different types of damage and her chance ability gives her evasion. These two bonuses will make her harder to kill. Let's go over her abilities. Her basic attack, Elasta Smash, does physical damage at max level. She has a 10% chance to gain an extra attack when one of her allies receive damage. And damage dealt is increased by 5%. Decent ability to max out since having an extra attack for taking damage can come in handy, especially against someone that attacks a lot like Emperor Zerg. Her chance ability, Stay Flexible, does deals physical damage and gives her a 50% chance to gain evasion for 6 seconds. This ability happens every 6 attacks. At max level, it gains 5% more damage. Evasion is guaranteed and it only takes 5 attacks to activate it. A good ability to max out since having evasion is going to help her survive. Her first special ability, Stretch Goals, costs 3 magic and she kicks an opponent back 1 grid space dealing physical damage. At max level, the kick stuns for 2 seconds, deals 5% more damage, and kicks the opponent back 2 spaces. For 3 to cast, it's a good ability to max out to add the stun and kick them away further. Her second special ability, Long Arm of Attack, costs 4 magic and she stretches out her arm punch an area, and the furthest opponent has a 50% chance to get slowed for 6 seconds. At max level, the damage is increased by 5%. The slow duration is increased for each opponent hit, and slow is guaranteed. Another good ability to max out and good to combo with someone like Area. The area of damage is more than just a straight line. Let's look at her 7 stars max stats. What stands out is that she has low health. Offense is in higher end, and her attack speed is on the higher end. At her current form, I think she's a good character to have in your collection. She can stun, slow area, attack, and stay alive. The only issues will be getting tokens to 7 star her, but that's going to be the problem with any exclusive character. I'll be doing more character breakdown in the future. See ya! Subscribe and like.